You didn't go to another one? I just told you. Did you make a new link? Huh? Yes. Hey everybody. Oh, woe's me. Hey, LJ. Lorianne, uh, this hasn't been fun today. <laughs> Sorry, I had to change the link because I was in there twice somehow and it kept echoing majorly bad. I don't know what I did. And Katie's not here to tell me what I did. So I had to start a new link. So sorry, guys. I don't like it when stuff just don't hey, work. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Keep calm and tacky on, Daniel. <laughs> you should be telling me that. I'm the one stressing and that this isn't working. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Sonia. Sorry. And do I have a new one in here? Yes, I'm new. Hi. How do you say her name? Hey, Martha. Chris. Chris, is that how you say that? That's a very different way of spelling that. I like that. I like different. I had to start a new live because <laughs> I was in there twice and it was double echoing. I mean, like loud. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. You'll follow me anywhere. Don't worry, I won't go off a cliff. <laughs> I'm still waiting for Katie to get here. She's not here. She was, uh, I guess she was running the uh, road. She says she's on her way home. and So I hope she gets the right link to get in because I had to redo it. Oh, you're from Texas? Oh, near Dallas? Well, we're in Houston. Martha in here. She's in Houston. Hi, Benny. Hi, uh, Diana. Sorry, I had to make y'all change. Did you put a comment in the old one, David, that we're... There's 11 people in there. You have 14 now, so... Okay. I hope everybody that was at the other one came to this one. I could not get me out of there. It was two of me, and nobody wants two of me. <laughs> Hi, Janet. I'm sorry. I need to, I need to chill. And not to mention today's my, my cell's going to be a little short today. I'm not, I usually have anywhere from 45 to 50 items. And tonight I'm only doing like 20 something items, less than 25. Because if y'all saw on my, Instagram. I'm going to be on um, Katie's show and tell tonight. So I'm going to be getting off here, rushing into another spot in my house to show my, do my show and tell for my cameras. Hi, Melinda. I got your pins. Thank you so much. I love them. I so love them. I posted it on my Instagram and I hope I tagged you because there's a lot of Melinda um, Hess on Instagram. So I hope you uh, noticed that on uh, Instagram. Make sure I tagged you. Tell me that you got that. Oh, Chris, subscribe to um, Martha and uh, Daniel. Hi, Sonia. Oh, you're sick. <laughs> it's one of my few mini collections that I have. Just a few. I only have a few collections. 
and and here I am every time I see more stuff that other people are selling that I haven't started like you know fairy lamps I don't have a collection of those but the more I pick them up it's like the more I want to start keeping some uh, good good keep them too yeah david did go we did go shopping what is today wednesday uh uh we did go shopping last weekend and david found two blue fairy lamps he's keeping them he says he's keeping them here's here's a katie yay i finally made it oh my <laughs> gosh you guys I had to go feed my brother's cat because he's out of town and I would have made it back in time for the live except for I got caught by not one, not two, but three trains and three different <laughs> trucks. So I was sitting there waiting for the trains. I'm like, come on, people. <laughs> oh, well, you had your own little dilemma. I had mine. I could not. I, I had me in here twice and it kept echoing really, really bad. I had to redo the whole uh, show. I had to do a whole new link. Oh no, that's I couldn't figure out how to get me out, you know? Oh no. I don't know. I don't even know how that happened. How did I get two of me in there? And I, I tried to mute one of the mics. It didn't matter. It was echoing bad. So I don't know how late. that happened. That is weird. <laughs> So you weren't here to tell me, so you couldn't have told me anyway. She didn't know either. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know either. <laughs> oh, so, well, that's, I had to delete the whole thing and go to another link. And I hope everybody found us. So, um, I we got our usual did. in here. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. So I guess they did. I hope they did. David said he left a message in the other one to come over this way. Well, I see Vinny and Diane and LJ and Proud Americans. Proud American, hi. I didn't see you. Hi. Uh, yeah, I was just telling them that I have fewer items tonight because, hi, Tammy. Tammy and the Tammy Club. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just telling them that we're doing a short sell tonight because we're going right after this. We're going to Katie's because I'm going to show y'all another collection of mine out of my, I don't know, 20, 30 collections that I have. <laughs> Which I'm very excited about. It's going to be fun to see your cameras. Yeah, well, it's really going to be showing and looking, not much telling. <laughs> <laughs> well, my hope is that it inspires someone to start a collection or do a deep dive of their own into oh. something fun. So that's really the goal of show and tell. <laughs> right a, a, a deep dive i would have to, i would love to do a deep dive i'd have to uh, do a little research but there's there's i will get into that later but there's many that i still do want daniel says christy and i have all the questions for you tammy <laughs> daniel i will find me something bigger than um your clown to get to get your clown <laughs> <laughs> Desi, oh hi Roxanne. Desi, Rox yeah, Roxana. Yes, hi. Roxanne here. Hi, Deanna. Oh my geez. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little set. I'm a little like crazy. Oh, you doing? and I both. <laughs> Who told you that, Deanna Church? Who told you to ask me tons of questions? Are you talking to Christy? I think, I think Christy's been telling everyone to ask a lot of questions. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of no answers. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't listen to that girl. I asked her one question. Now she's going to bombard me with all kinds of questions. <laughs> Look, I, I just buy what I like. I don't have to know nothing about it. I just buy it because it was pretty by looking at it and they look good on the shelf they really do so oh my goodness okay i'm really hot now serenity now <laughs> if if, if y'all hear a voice in the background that's dave <laughs> tammy is asking that you know that she knows you collect enamel pens raggedy Ann, and cameras what else do you collect what else do I collect, David? 
Fisher Price toys. Oh, my toy! I have a big toy collection. Fisher Price toys. Um, Raggedy Ann. Oh, she said Raggedy Ann. She saw my Raggedy Ann because I filmed in front of that one time. Um, you have five children. I <laughs> collect children. <laughs> I'm trying to stop that, y'all. I'm really trying to stop that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let me. I mean, my house is full of a uh, like a little tiny museum. I'm eclectic. I have a little. Oh, I started collecting mid-century. Um, some of the kitschy. What are they called? Kitschy dolls. The um, the, uh, the Kokeshi dolls. Kokeshi. I always say kitschy dolls. The little <laughs> Kokeshi. Um, chalkware fish. Um, I'm, I started doing my bathroom. These. Um, I have to show you these dolls. I don't know what they're really called. They're like paper mache dolls. They have them. They covered a uh, hairspray can. They hold lipstick. Um, they're, they have, um, pins that you would put in there, you know, on the top of their head, little, uh, you know, pin, you know, stick pins. Um, I'm collecting those. Um, Avon, um, um, it's a small world perfume dolls. Um, should I go on? When you say we're collectaholics. Oh, of course, I, did you not? Did she? She mentioned my flowers, right? She did mention those because I already showed those, right? Yes, she yeah, meant acrylic flowers. Pet flowers. Benny, me too. I have a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> but you can and when you get in this business, you collect stuff, and and then when you're starting to sell, you you get um, oh, it's long bases. I'm starting to do those. Um, I'm going to slowly start adding my little collections onto my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram so y'all can see. Uh, and I'm trying to find, find a hashtag to put them all in one place. But, but um, if it's neatly displayed, it's not hoarding. It's just a fun collection. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I can't um, display it, then I'm going to sell it. So if I can't get it in a section, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to... Uh, I'm really tempted to start doing the the uranium glass. I don't have a place for that. I would have to clear out a spot just for that. So oh, I love uranium glass. Mm -hmm. And if I do it, I want the glowy cabinet and all where it's going to be glowy. As a matter of fact, I'm making him build me, <laughs> making him build me a new shelf just so I can collect more. And you know what? <laughs> What's horrible over here is my house. I, we're kind of out in the country and I don't I have mostly a uh, dirt driveway and everything. So my house stays dusty, y'all. Dusty. So it, this is a bad thing for me to get into collecting anything because of the dust. Oh, okay. yeah. Dust is always a problem. Well, <laughs> we kick off the sale. <laughs> yes, let's kick off the sale. <laughs> Let's get it started, y'all. This is Christine and Yvonne and everybody. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. Uh, okay. What is this? I got a sticker sticker. I have, oh, where's my camera? Oh, here. Let me put Katie in the penalty box so we can. Yes, I need to be in the penalty box. There we oh, go. I need to be in the penalty box sometimes. Katie a lot of times. and Sean. <laughs> Who, I, I, stinky junk that's new skunky junk is sean and he just started a channel and i saw his first live that he did he did a test live the other day and oh my gosh he's hilarious he's such a natural on camera it was a, a fun to watch <laughs> i'll have to go check you out you're you're a new name to me okay we're getting started because we got to get done in an hour about an hour and a half and we have so much fun to do, right? Always. <laughs> this is a an oil, what is it called? Oil lamp? Swang, swan, swang, swan bait. I, oh my God, see, I can't talk. I need more drinks. Um, a swan oil lamp. <laughs> and it's, and it's um, about four inches tall. He's got the blueprint and um, blue and red or gold, blue and gold paint on him. Um, a little turn. I guess he would really work. He has his uh, little flint in there. He's super cute. And I don't have my ruler over here because I'm so bad. Okay. It's a wick. Not flint. Not flint. It's a wick, David tells me. It's going to be nine dollars 
and it's number 10. Let me see for sure if it was. From the ruler god. <laughs> it's five inches tall. That is a beautiful little swan. I thought it was really cute. Really cute. So he is $9 and it's number 10. Uh, then, let's see. Hi, Carrie. Michelle, everybody else joining. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. So next I have up is these uh, cute little tins. They're, um, they're wall hangings. They're six and a half inches by uh, five inches. They're, they're metal tin. And it's, I guess this is Dutch boy and girl. See, they're kind of like little trays but possibly wall hangings i mean it has a little um slip in there there's no um there's no way to there's nothing on here to hang them from but um cute little art pieces very vibrant color red red trim and all and i think they're dutch don't that look dutchy like they look very Dutch. I see someone else saying they say Sweden, but they could be either or probably. So, uh, let me turn my volume up. Make sure I'm all the way up. Okay. So, these are going to be, for the pair, $12, and they're number 17. Those are fun. And you can get an adhesive plate hanger and throw that on the back if you want to hang them up in the wall or put one of those uh, plate uh, stretchy things on it. Uh-huh. And they work as laying on the table as well, but I would think these would be something that you would hang. And I just saw somebody else jump in here. Uh, Thrifting Adventures. Was it Stephanie? Thrifting Adventures? Was yes. Drif Drifting Adventures is Stephanie, and she Stephanie. just joined us. <laughs> and I Hi, see Stephanie. Chicago Lady and Sue Spezio. Hi, you guys. And um, Cricket? And Sue's saying, could you hold uh, each one up to the camera uh, individually and hold it still for just a second? <laughs> yeah, me still. Is that enough room? Are you seeing yeah, the whole thing? I see that absolutely perfectly. So here's the first one. And then the boy. I think they're super cute. I've never seen these before. And they're 10. And they have a, like a little lit, I mean, little that you can put a hook in there or something to hang it with or put a string in there. So. Okay, Sue, I've got you for that. What number was that, Tammy? The dish. $12, number 17. All right, Sue, congratulations. All right, get down. Thank you, Sue. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Well, Sean typed in 17. Sue just said she wanted them in the chat, but she didn't type the number. But Sue was first. So I don't know what to do in this situation, folks. Okay, it's all right, Sean. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Sue. So Sue uh, gets them. Okay, so now we have grand, Grandma and Grandpa uh, piggy banks. They are nine inches tall. There's Grandpa. And there's grandma. They're plastic little banks. Got their little tags on here, my inventory numbers. They have their stoppers. And they're they're plastic. They're pretty wide. I think they're very cute. You can teach your kids to save up money to go see grandma and grandpa so y'all can take your, <laughs> if you live far away, airplane trip or 
save money for grandma and grandpa's uh, gifts. But I thought they were cute. They're plastic. They're nine and a half inches tall. Let's see what I did my my paper. They're fourteen dollars for the set, and it's number eleven. Oh, those yes, are. So I had a I had a set of these already, and I found them again. I thought that was so cool because I think they're cute. Sue's saying, yes, yeah, she just bought one from you. <laughs> <laughs> I had a set, you know, and I'm surprised that they're together. And they do look like Muppets, proud American. <laughs> they look like, yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I have a, a deck of playing cards. And I don't know exactly... how old these are, but they're very cute and they're brand new. Oh my, look at her face. <laughs> she wants to come home with all of you guys. She says, take me home. <laughs> oh no, Tammy is muted, folks. I'm so sorry. Let's see if... Tammy can hear me on this end. Oh, there we go. Tammy's back. Good deal. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. <laughs> but anyways, a brand new pack of playing cards. That's what they look like. You can probably see that better on the cardboard box. So, and she is $6 and it's number 18. And yes, they are screaming Tina at a vision of vintage co Benny. <laughs> I feel like that's something she would really like. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I have a set of these cute little mugs. Now, I thought these were precious. I don't know how old they are. There's no, there is no maker on them. Two on, two on this one. Bright, colorful with stand, the mice standing on the mushrooms, and then this one with his cheese. And they're tall little mugs. Tall little mugs. Is that an oxymoron? Almost five inches tall, but they're, you know thinner around which is about two and a half inches around so for this set it is twelve dollars and they are number eight those mice are just adorable i love the little one eating cheese oh my <laughs> goodness he's cute you could put hot chocolate in these because there'd be enough room at the top for marshmallows or, yeah, or for whipped cream Oh, yes, whipped cream is good. I love me some whipped cream. Hi, Nate Biscuit. Thanks for joining. Hi, Nate. Hi, Gino. Hi, Gino. And let's see, I have this little lion, little lion brooch. It's very whimsical. Let me get him up here and clear. Oh, look at there. We got a clear one. He's a he's go tone with a turquoise belly and his tail is movable. Oh, I love his little reticulated tail. And his eyes, he's got a green emerald eyes. He's got a it looks like a crown. Not I don't know. Well, not emeralds, they're green st um stones. Not always yeah not emerald necessarily i don't know what they are i thought he was wearing a crown but that's probably just his hair no it looks like a crown i'm not sure but i like his little belly like a turquoise type of um bow he's got his little jelly belly <laughs> yeah jelly belly there you go little cute uh lion he is um about two inches tall just just a tad bit over two inches and he is going to be $14 where I go number 19 
Vinny's saying he'd be lying if he didn't like that brooch. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Vinny. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Welcome. And I see LJ for number 19. Congrats, LJ. Thank you, LJ. Then, let's see. I have this milk glass lidded. I think it's Westmoreland. Oh, there. Let's see. It has uh, grapes on it, berries or something. And it's beaded along the edges. Does it have a mark on the bottom? The berries. It might be uh, anchor hawking, uh, grape and vine. Okay, because I I couldn't I found some with no name, some that said Westmoreland, and you know, and I thought, okay, it's milk glass. <laughs> well, and you know, Westmoreland and Anchor Hawking and several companies made those grape patterns. Westmoreland okay. made panel grape, and then there's the grape and vine, which I believe is hawking. And so all of that gets confusing. But usually Westmoreland, I think, is marked with the WG or W at the bottom. Uh-huh. Okay. So this is about four inches tall with the um with the knob, it's almost five and a half with the um piece here and it's a um four by four you know container but i love the little grapes on here and i love the little beads along the the beads are gorgeous very cute so this is going to be 14 dollars, and it's number 20. that is a really fabulous piece of milk glass Milk glass is coming back, I hear. It Art. is, because I think it really goes with so much. It's like the clear glass. You can mix it into any display or decor. Right. Yeah, you can mix that in in anything. And I see Elaine Bagwell for number 20. Congratulations, Elaine. And Thank you, Elaine. And welcome to Kitchy Cat. Hi, Kitchy Cat. Then I have next is this uh, Bluebird. Now there's no markings on here for him for no make or model. Uh, it's just a pretty ceramic, nice glaze. Little bluebird, blue jay bird. I like his little black around his eyes and his chest there. And he stands um, four and a half inches tall. And his glazing is so pretty. It is. It's very, and it, it's glazed all the way down. No bis. It's a, it's bis like on the bottom. I like a ceramic. But other than that, I mean, I think he's very cute. Very pretty. Very a baby blue. The baby blue is what I really like about him. He's $8 and he is number nine. Very kitschy, Martha. I agree. <laughs> so next I have up is this um, lipstick brass holder. Now these, I see people really liking these. I've had several of these and I guess they're just great for your vanity and for display and not necessarily just the lipstick. I've seen them do it with other things as well. This one holds four. It's a, uh, I think it's four by four. Uh, well, more like just over three and a half by three and a half square here. And see the detail on it, if I can show that. That is gorgeous, that detail work, my oh my. And I like how it sets up, it's kind of 3D-ish there. To... Last time I should have had some lipstick in here to to display it with but it's super cute um 
it is sixteen dollars and it's number 22. And if you put that on a vanity with a lace or crochet doily, that would just come together so nicely, a little display there. I, you know, I always forget to mention the um, doily. I should have sewed a doily with this. I have several doilies I could part with. That's just a fun set. Very cute. I think it's very cute. Um, and I see Leanne say number 22. Congratulations, Leanne. Thank you, Leanne. And let's see, I have this. Now, I have this uh, pink, pink dish. I had um, ooh, different people saying different things about the dish. There's no markings, you know, no printed... Um, anything about it it's a it's a shell pink footed scallop edge trim open like a flower a flower look and the cute little legs but there's it's a light pale pink there's no no markings and have you know you see the scallop if you can see that up and down but I like how they describe that it's like a flower, an open flower. That is beautiful. And the shape kind of has a Lancaster and glass company look to me. Lancaster? Lancaster? I could be wrong, but that shape is very similar to their Jubilee pattern. Jubilee. It's a six, six and a half inches um, open, you know, around and two and a half high. But it would be a great candy dish, I think. Um, I don't know why I keep losing my papers tonight. And it's $14. And it's number 16. Hello, Missy. Hi, Missy and Lucid and everybody coming in. Hi, you guys. I could see that with some jelly beans. I think that would be just delicious. Oh, jelly beans, yes. Yes, what is mine? I would say M&M's. <laughs> oh, M&M's. I love some M&M's. <laughs> <laughs> and how about a piece of cruel? This is, this frame is a 12 by 10, but the picture itself is mm, six and a half by five. It's a wood frame. This is a cloth cloth border right here. And then of course your Corel uh okay, let me see if I can get this close enough where you can see it real well. And right here there might be a little, you know, like little spots of aging. Because there's no glass on it. I see you know. It's really cute but the and here's the back of it it's an old frame nice old frame it's going to be twelve dollars and it's number twelve and then I don't I it happens but it does happen <laughs> The nice thing is it's all ready to go on your gallery wall you don't have to do anything but just put the nail in the wall right and I like how it's, a, it's like 3D. It's really nice frame. Definitely it looks is. to have some age to it. It does. Yes. I wish I knew how old some of these things were. Yeah, I always look for the nails on the back of frames to see if it's got that old style nail. Yeah, they came from somebody in Round Top. Um, let's see. How about the Tanala mm -hmm. bird? Is this a chick, bird, duck, Superman? <laughs> I, I vote duck. What do you guys <laughs> vote in the chat? I, I think he's a little duck. He's a he's one of the bigger ducks. Um, I mean, let's see. He's four and a half inches wide and about five inches tall. 
He's not one of those decks. No. The I, first one. I have a. Uh, I have a smaller duck. See how how little <laughs> that one is. <laughs> I have a little collection of these. Oh, look. See, I have another collection. Let's see, me the, the, but see how mama the duck. difference. <laughs> mama duck and baby duck. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have um. Where is it? A mark here. I mean, it's a real scribble, but a chick duck, whatever he may be, <laughs> he is $24, number seven. Nate's loving that Tanala duck there. I think Tanala. he's a, a darling little fella, or Tonala. I'm trying to remember how Chrissy told us it's supposed to be pronounced. I think it's Tonala. Tonala, yeah. But I can't ever remember that because when I first heard about Tonala, everyone in the community said Tonala. So I get it all mixed up. But one day I'll get it down, Pat. <laughs> and the more I keep hearing it that the other way, I just say it. <laughs> okay. Do y'all know what these are from? And the this one may give it away. They're nice. I love this green. They're little beads, the ceramic beads. And maybe this will help give it away. Do y'all know what these usually go on? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I've seen these before. They're usually on mac the macrame. The, um, oh, yes, yes, the yes. Macrame, right? Macrame stuff. Yeah, the macrame. I've seen them on towel holders, I think. Yeah. So that's what these are. See, there's a little... Leanne got it. <laughs> Leanne got it. Uh, the little hook. Joanne got it. Please. Joanne's here. Hey, Joanne. And uh, the little beads. You slide them in. So, I'm trying to push. But there's four pieces here. And I love this green. I just love that green. The little set. So there's four pieces. So I don't know if you you don't have to put them back on micro, macrame. You can do something else with them, but they're super cool. Wendy said you can put them with a rope. A rope? A plant hanger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Plant hanger. hanger. Yes, absolutely for plants. That would be great, Mr. Mm -hmm. Page. So we're going to do this set, this the four pieces for $12, and it's number five. Yes, looks it can be very boho. And Nate is saying that they pronounce it differently in New Zealand. They say macrame. And uh, I think macrame, is that how you say it, Nate? I'm trying to read your pronunciation. <laughs> how would you say it like he's saying it? I smell macrame. It sounds like what that's what we say it as. I thought macrame. Yeah. And I see Lucid Curios for number five. Congratulations, Lucid. Thank you, Lucid. Um, now, if you did buy anything today and you are planning on buying something, or you're going to buy something, just make sure that you send an email to Tammy at the email scrolling across the bottom. We need your PayPal email, your name, your YouTube name, and your mailing address. Okay, let's let's uh, do one of our um, throwdowns. Oh, Texas throwdown time. Ooh, here we are, folks. We're going to do the fairy lamp. And then we're going to start it at um, 30. All right. One this moment. One of, the, one of the larger fairy lamps is a seven and a half inches tall. This one has the butterflies on it. It's a, um, I do believe this one's Westmoreland. I think it was Westmoreland. It has this sticker on here, which is not so easy to read. 
There it is. And I do believe that is Westmoreland. I'm glad you can read it. <laughs> yes, it's and I can stay still. Look at me. <laughs> yes, it's a perfect. Uh, and get back to focus. There we go. So we have butterflies. I think three butterflies on it. Two yellows, orange, or yeah, about a brown, yellow, and a blue. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Turn it off. Maybe you can see. See the plant better. And we are throwing it down at 30. So 30, if you want to have this fairy lamp, type in 30 into the chat and kick off this Texas throwdown. What is this called? The mushroom or umbrella type? I think umbrella is what it's called. I could be wrong. It's got the pedestal on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I think these work better than the fairy lamps. <laughs> I like those because you don't have all the lights to, to mess with the big strand. Yeah. <laughs> and it really makes it glow. So, okay. If nobody's interested in this, we'll move on and we'll go to something else. Okay. And I see Vinny is asking if you, uh, where you get your little fairy light from. Where do we get those? I think you can get those at Walmart, right? The little, the. I got them at. Lowe's? Lowe's. David picked those up at Lowe's. Okay. Now, I have the yeah. green. I love these. I think these are so cute. These are those that uh, has a plastic wreath around them. And the um, the candles are little short candles. They're about five inches tall, but they've already been lit at one time. And see, they're the, um, the swirly. They're kind of hollow on the inside. I just like them just for this right here. I wouldn't want to burn them anymore. But no. I like these. Um, the little pla it's plastic, the plastic fruit and leaves. Okay. And that reminds me of something my dad's mom would have on her mantle. She's always got fun things like that. Let me show you the wreath better. What uh, pears and the white flowers with the greenery and the, the that plastic. What is this? Uh, is it 70s or 60s? Yeah, I would probably say 1960s or 70s. So for the pair of these, and they're like five inches tall, and they're um, the width of them at the bottom is uh, five inches of the wreath. I think these are really precious. The green and yellow, which makes it really pop. Uh, they're going to be $8, and it's number 21. That is a great price for the set. Man, that's a lot of fun. And yes, it is great for many seasons, Martha. I agree. Many seasons. And I see LJ for number 21. Congratulations, LJ. Thank you, LJ. And to keep going with our little green theme. Now, Chrissy always jumps on me. You're stuck in the 70s. But... I'm attracted to these colors. There's, I think they're just so cute. This is uh, eight and a half inches tall. It's a, I don't know what they call it when you can hold it, the oil lamp. This one doesn't have a wick in it, but it has its silo. It has, you know, the turning of the knob here, but it don't have the wick inside of it, but it's all complete. Who is this by? It's from Japan, D-O, or is that D-D or D-O? I think it's D-O, it looks like Japan. So what I'm not that? familiar with that, Mark, but it's nice that it's got its sticker, which you don't often find on old pieces like this. I think that's super cute. I love the green and oranges. So we have that. It's a... I forgot what size it was now. 
Okay, LJ says that she would like you just to ship the plastic rings, not the candles. Okay, I can do that. And then... Allergic to wax. Huh? <laughs> Is LJ allergic to wax? <laughs> Don't want it to melt in there, I guess. Um, this this is going to be sixteen dollars and it's number 23. and that is great for spring and fall as Vinny's pointing out there yes it, i mean i'm trying to do my kitchen in the green orange and and uh yellows david's not crazy about it but i'm still doing it <laughs> hey, I just live here. <laughs> yeah, he just lives here. And next I have um this is a handcrafted by the Lloyds. Like they made it themselves. It's 3D. It's a very I think this is super cute. Um, it's nine, about nine inches tall and almost seven inches wide. All made of wood, handcrafted, carved of a daisy. And it has a hanger already on the back saying it was handcrafted by the Lloyds. Super cute. And it is the wood flower picture. It's going to be $12 and it's number 13. Another great piece for your gallery wall. That would just be great uh, in your kitchen or dining room. I just think that's a real statement. LJ already has the candles, David. And I see Sonia Mills picking up number 13. Congratulations, you, Sonia. Sonia. Tiger's saying, what is the spring and fall you speak of? <laughs> you are, you probably don't get a lot of different weather changes. We don't either here. <laughs> okay, what do y'all think about this? I love this art piece of glass. I could not find anything on it. Nothing. Mm -hmm. It's all, all glass. The um, branches got the kind of a little bit of a frost color to it. It's it. Very kind of looks like a whale's tail. It does, don't it? I was assuming it was a branch. Oh, I think it's a branch too. And it's smooth on the bottom of the of it, and in the I don't know what kind of birds this might be. They're not; their beaks are long, sort of like toucans, but I don't think that they're toucans. See, and I was debating if it was a toucan too, because toucan too. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one has green and yellows in it, and then this one has blue and red. As uh, specks of color. That is gorgeous. Really nicely made art glass piece. And let's see, it's and it's kingfishers. Kingfishers, eight inches wide, from uh, branch to branch, and six inches tall. That it stands. <laughs> Vinny. I'm sorry. This is this is also going to be um, an offer up, and we're going to start it at thirty. Okay. We're going to start we're this at thirty dollars if anybody wants on it. This guy, he's pretty amazing. Benny's saying, "I don't see two cans. I see two birds." <laughs> yes. Let's leave it to wise but Benny. <laughs> And when are we starting this at? <laughs> hang hang with me more, Benny. You, you'll be able to make fun of my talk all the time. The things all I right. say. <laughs> Where are we starting this at? Oh, 30. 
He is 30 if anybody wants wants him. We're going to start right. at 30. We are off to the races, folks, if you want these fabulous birds. And I see Cricket Harrington is at $30 in the chat. Awesome Cricket. Yeah, Benny should have done stand up. I think he would have been very yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Proud Americans asking Nate if he's ever heard of digestive cookies. We were just talking about that earlier on Trisha's Live. And I see Cricket at 30. That is the number to beat in the chat if you want to throw it down. And if she's the only one interested, then Cricket could get these at 30. All right. We're going to start calling it, folks. Going once for Cricket at 30. Going twice for Cricket. And we are sold to Cricket Harrington at $30. Congratulations, Cricket. This is a gorgeous piece. Thank you, Cricket. Yes, Nate, I need to try them with blue cheese, those digestive cookies. I eat them all the time. They are wonderful. I got to do the blue cheese thing because that sounds pretty really good. Let's see. Oh, I have this owl wall hanging. Do y'all remember these? They're, um, I, I want to say they're home code. They're tin, they're a metal tin or something, that lightweight. Uh, and I sometimes they have a, another one. I don't know if they came in pairs or you had to buy them separately. I think this is a 70s thing. I remember my mom having this hanging on. And her I wall. think we've lost Tammy for just a moment. Again? Hope she's okay. Are you back, Tammy? Okay, let's see. We're good now, I think. <laughs> Did I freeze? You froze for just a second. Okay. <laughs> and Martha's saying that's in the brutalist style, which I think Martha's right on that. Brutalist style? Yes. Oh. I never heard that one. Um, but uh, my mother used to have these. I remember these hanging on our walls. Oh, my God. I keep losing my um, my papers. Okay. It's a, uh, let me, let's see, he is about seven inches tall. And the width of him is close to around eight. But I think he's pretty cool. He's really darling. He is $14 and he is number 14. Those are gorgeous. I love those little. Uh, owls. <laughs> Dave, that's funny. And Cricket Harrington is picking this up, number 14. Congratulations, Cricket. And she's got Thank a you, Cricket. Cat. She's putting all this in her she shed. I think that's fun. <laughs> oh, I like to see that she shed. <laughs> Let's see. I have, how about we do um, the poodle heads? Ooh, Puda Schnudas. Which is going to be a an offer up. Had Texas Throwdown. <laughs> David Gray. <Gregory. All> right. <laughs> it's a, um, you see that? Um, starting these at 18. One moment, folks. I'll get that in the chat. I, I like, I want a she shed. Oh, well, that would be great. I want a record shed. <laughs> a, record, a record shed. A, record a, shed. Room, a music <laughs> listening room for myself. Yeah, I do have a sewing room a building next door, next with my salon. So, But I need more room, y'all. That whole room is full of sewing supply stuff. I need more time sewing. <laughs> so um, these are the uh, chalkware. Let's see. Is there a name on the back of them? Yeah. I mean, my sticker. Made in England. Oh, Blossoms made in England is what that says. How you hook them. 
Now they they got a little bit of paint wear. They're 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 the chalk, uh, the blonde one, and you see more of the paint loss on the black one. But that would be an easy little touch up. They're that but, kind of fun chippy style. Chippy. So these are four and a half inches tall, and they're I don't they're pretty old. I Someone, I mean, I've seen them where they said they were in the 60s and and 70s. I don't know. I'm unclear about that. But they have the little collar. They're not broken anywhere, but they just have some paint wear on them. They're chalk. So, guys, if you want these fabulous chalk wear poodles, all you have to do is type in $18 into the chat. Get the throw down started. These are pretty fabulous. You see how big they are that way? They're pretty cool. No poodle lovers out there? I don't see any poodle lovers tonight, but maybe there will be later on in the show. <laughs> so uh, I think we'll call this Texas throw down for now and come back to it later. Oh, yes. <laughs> and uh, oh I'm sorry I see little vintage 66 and at 18 I think uh, we must have had some lag so we are uh, kicking things off at little vintage 66 at 18 welcome and you're a new name so do make sure you send your information to the email scrolling across the bottom of the screen I like to know how some of y'all find me how y'all find me? Y'all should tell me sometime. That would be fun. Write an email to Tammy. And <laughs> tell me what you found me on Instagram or you were just scrolling through YouTube and clicked on us, you know. So yeah, yeah. I, I'd like to know how you find it, you know, find some of us. And where's Poodle? That's the question of the night, D. Where's Poodle? <laughs> but glad to see you here. Nice for you to join us. So yeah, if you want to call this. So we are going once to, let's see, I think I said it wrong. Oh, yes, it's I Love Vintage. I'm sorry, I said your name wrong. Welcome, I Love Vintage. All right, so we are going once to I Love Vintage. We are going twice to I Love Vintage. And we are sold to I Love Vintage 66 for $18. Congratulations. See, she found us on YouTube just looking for live sales. She said, I think she said, oh, no, she said YouTube on YouTube. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, just uh, there's um, my email down below. If you want to just send us your PayPal information and um, address and all. Katie tells you. I always get tongue twisted on what I'm supposed to say. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> make sure you send your name, your YouTube name, your address, your mailing address, and of course your PayPal email. Those are the things that we need from you. So that's your YouTube name, your PayPal email, your regular name, and your mailing address to vintage uprising tx at gmail.com. She's so good at that. <laughs> I always twist everything up when I start talking about it. <laughs> um let's see. This is I have this. A uh, footed um, federal depression glass is what I found um, that they say it was. What was that? Oh, Trisha gave you a shout out on her live tonight. She sent people your way. Oh, thank you. Trisha did? Trisha, yes, at Sandy Auto. Yeah. So this is six inches tall. This is a clear butter or candy glass is seven inches wide butter or candy i don't know i would think it's more for like butter or can't be a big ball of candy because it's a shallow dish but it has real pretty um i don't know which way it's gonna be better see that there you go uh design etch designed on there oh that's gorgeous yes i have that pattern I love that. Uh, that is a uh, federal glass, as you mentioned. And I don't, I don't remember what the pattern was, if, if it said. But 
Yes, it's okay. not. There's two different federal patterns that are similar, and I always get them confused. <laughs> I'll think of it in just a minute. So you think this is a butter dish or a candy dish? I almost want to say it's a candy dish because it's footed, but then it's it's low. So yeah, it's kind of shallow. It's about an inch, an inch and a half deep, but it's still a whole candy. But you know, unless it's togetherness, not like M and M's, we're not going to fill it all the way up to the top. <laughs> so, so we have this federal footed depression clear glass candy butter dish whatever you want to use it for and it's eighteen dollars and it's number 15. very pretty of course they go with anything it fit into any holiday decor whatever you want to use it for that is just gorgeous and yes it could be a cheese dish that's for sure yeah the cheese at least is stacked up in there easy and stay together what are you laughing at, David? And what's talking about where they found you? And I said, I started quoting. Uh, Don't tell them where you found me. I said, I found you in a smoky room with a smell of wine and cheap perfume. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You took the midnight train going anywhere, David? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he used to ride that midnight train. <laughs> okay, we're going to do um, this last offer up. Uh, the Deer TV Planner. We're starting it at 30. All right. Let me type this into the chat. It does work. It's, um, let's see. It's um, 11, uh, 10 and a half inches wide and it sits hmm, nine inches tall. And it has three deers on it and it is a, like a lime green and you know what is that what would you call this not trimmed in gold it's got it's gold got little gold brushing on it yeah all around it so it's super cool it's a now the only thing that kind of hesitated me that the fact that it was green you know it won't probably fit in everybody's decor but it's beautiful Three deers running, and it is a planner and a light bulb there. It does a, it does work. Here's the cord. And we are off to the races at 30. I've typed 30 into the chat so you guys can start offering up. We're throwing down. That's pretty fabulous. If you're interested, we don't have no, I mean, I don't know that TV planners, um, lights are very popular or I did meet somebody when we went to meet George in Florida, Mount Dora. huh? Mount Dora. Mount Dora. Um, and it, this guy had the coolest of all TV lamps. He had his own collection as well, but there was a very, he didn't and have this one, but Leanne Say kicking us off at 30. 30 is the number to beat in the chat. Barbara Ann Bundo, if you would like it, you'd have to go just a little higher than 30 to get it. Okay, Barbara Ann Bundo is at 33. And LJ is requesting, can you plug it in? Oh, I have one. I need the, the, the uh, uh, give me the scissors to cut this. Zip tie off of it. No, I'll just bring the plug to you. It's right here. Sit right here on the table, Dave. And we've got Leanne Say at 35. 35. I'm just checking both chats to see uh, what we've got here and make sure it's accurate because sometimes StreamYard's a little funky. All right. I see Leanne Say at 35. That is now the number to beat in the chat. If you like this, uh, 35 is the Zip. number to beat. Come closer. There it goes. Okay. Woo, right. <laughs> I mean, uh, turn on this light so they can see it glow better. Barbara Ann Bundo is at 38. 38 is now a high number to beat in the chat. 
Oh, you guys, we're going it down. This is exciting. We got Leanne yeah, today at 40. 40 is now the number to beat this fabulous piece. Golly, look at that thing glow. It's blind to me. I don't know what the wattage is in here, but. <laughs> look at the deer on the front of that and that green color and the gold. Wow, wow, wow. All right, 40 is the number to beat with Leanne Say. So you got to beat Leanne Say. And if you are out, just type out in the chat. That does help move things along fairly quickly. Pull this out. Be careful. I love it. It's very pretty. I love the gold brushing on it. It's gold trim around the bottom here. I mean, it's going to look good with the, with some flowers in it. <laughs> Ooh, yes, it would. Yes, oh, good nightlight, LJ, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, and it's Leanne C. Leanne C. I got it, Leanne. Thank you so much for letting me know. Barbara is out, so I think we can start calling it for Leanne C. Thank you so much, Barbara. All right, we are going once to Leanne, going twice to Leanne and sold to Leanne for $40. Congratulations, Leanne. Oh, that's Thank you, Leanne. Oh, I'm sorry, Sandra. You got in just a little bit too late. It's already sold. But thank you so much for joining in on the Texas Throwdown. And good luck next time. <laughs> thank you, you guys. Uh, let's see. And I, I'm doing a short sale, so I think that was all the items. Did this? That didn't? And I just remembered that pattern. It's Federal Madrid, but there's another Madrid. another pattern similar to it by Federal that, that also could be, but I didn't see it up close as well. But it is Federal for sure. Okay, so I'm going to run through everything that hasn't sold. Cause that's, I was doing a short sale because we're going to be done by... Um, what is it? It's going to be eight... Am I done early? You're, is it's this super it's almost early? nine o'clock. And so a show oh, okay. at 9.30. So we got a little bit of... Okay, no, we're doing good then, right? Yep, doing good. I like to log on a little early and make sure all yeah. the bugs are worked <laughs> out. i got to move everything to another station too. So I'm going to run through everything that didn't sell. So if anybody's interested that might have came in late. Um, did number 19 sell? Katie, uh, let me check my list here. Um, I have it sitting here, and uh, they didn't take it. So. LJ got number nineteen. I thought it sold. Here, David, you're falling down on your job. Okay. <laughs> uh, LJ, yeah, smash that thumbs up, everybody. Thanks, Yvonne. She's our biggest cheerleader in the chat. Yes, we love Yvonne. She's she's always cheering everybody on. Okay. So this is still available, a brand new deck of cards with this little baby on it. Take me home. <laughs> <laughs> it's still in its cellophane, um, never been open. So, and here's the name on the side, Doll Masters. So. They have poker faces. Yes, these dolls are great poker players, poker face. And poker face. <laughs> so we have that. We have the Corel piece. That was twelve dollars number twelve. Anybody lo that loves Corel and the the frame itself is an old vintage wood frame. Very nice. And I see Sandra Loza for number eighteen. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra, I'll write you down. And Sandra, I think you're new to me too. If you be sure to send me your information to my email address floating across the bottom there. At vintage uprising tx at gmail.com. And then we have the little mouse mugs, the cutesy little mousy mugs. 
Oh, those guys are darling. Great for hot chocolate or cider. Very cute. And nothing on the back side. They're plain on the back side. No, no maker's mark. But twelve dollars for the pair of them. Number eight. And oh, Sandra says she's bought before. Well, welcome back. Sandra. Okay. We're thrilled Thank to have you. Sandra. you. There's always a lot of folks to keep track of, but we do our <laughs> best. And uh, we've got some questions from Leanne. She's asking if those mugs are milk glass. I don't think they are, but you can clarify. No, I think they're more uh, ceramic. They're ceramic glass. Yeah, um, to the bottom of it. Hello, Rebecca Selena. Now we just finished our sale pretty much, but I have some stuff left over that I'm running through. I'm glad you made it. Back. Michelle Lee, have you been in here? I'm just now, if I didn't, I didn't see you earlier, so I'm I saying hi now. Here, but hello, hello. <laughs> so then we have this uh, hurricane oil lamp. I love the colors. I love the green and orange and white. And it is 16, number 23. It's still available. And remember, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I do always post after the fact, too, of what, what did or, you know, what didn't sell. And then we have um, gra um, Grandpa, Grandpa and Grandma piggy banks. They're plastic. They got their stoppers. And they are $14 for the pair, number 11. And let's see. And then we had this other little swan um, oil lamp. And it has this uh, wick still in there. And it was, I don't know what it don't even remember five inches tall and it was nine dollars number 10 has a little blue and gold paint trim on it still available lots of great stuff here folks and my bird's still available i'm surprised and I see Sonia Mills with number 10. Congratulations, Sonia. I'm writing you down. Thank you, Sonia. I, uh, I had a, my last sale was all birds, but we only did a limited number of birds. So he didn't make the cut, but he's here now. So we had this blue jay bird. I guess it's a blue jay, baby blue bird. He wants to Super fly cute. home to you. <laughs> Super cute. And no maker model on him, but he is eight dollars and he is number nine. Great in a spring and summer display. And a duck. Did I see Elaine Bagwell for number nine? Congratulations, Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. And then we have a uh, the Tonala, 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 I forget. Tonala? <laughs> Tonala. I'm just going to say Tonala. <laughs> That's well, how the and, um, girl says it. <laughs> Melinda Hess wants that uh, Tonala piece. <laughs> Thank you, Melinda. Um, and then we had the pink, this, um, I, I couldn't, I didn't ever find out what this maker model was. I found some similar, but they just called it a, a pink shell footed scallop bow. But it's very, it, with a flower like opening. Great candy dish because it's a deep candy dish. It's pretty deep. Great for the M&Ms. Yes, M&Ms. <laughs> I love them. So. That's still available. And then the clear federal depression glass. Now show that pattern just a little bit up close, Tammy. I'm, I'm really curious. Take the lid off. 
I think that's Federal Madrid, but there's another Federal that's very similar. Yes, cashews. Oh. Yeah, Armentos. That's gorgeous. With clear glass, you can just do so much. You can put colored fairy lights in them that change color. You can put jelly beans in them or M&Ms. And, you know, that really, that clear goes with everything. Yeah. Uh, I need to get me some colored lights. I need to do that. I, li I love the, the footed part of this. Yeah, wide. that is just stunning. But it was $18, number 15. Yes, Tiger. No sale is complete without a cashew bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Cashews and cheese. That's my motto. <laughs> and then we had the fairy lamp that would be $30. The frosted uh, Westmoreland still has its sticker with the butterflies. It's the larger one. This isn't the smaller ones. They have smaller ones in these versions um, with the pretty butterflies. It took my my light out. So it is, it'd be $30. For number one, it would be number one. That is gorgeous. Number one. So. And if anybody wanted this and they wanted a a second one, I have a matching one that I would sell for dirt cheap because something hit it right here and cracked it right there that's the only thing wrong with it it has a crack on here you could turn it to the back but the fact is it's right up there so but i'd i would add that in for you know like five dollars they're the same size identical i just hate that it cracked but and you can have one for either side of your bed yeah uh -huh. <laughs> So I will do a twin if you uh, are interested. So, and that's everything. Grandma, yep. I think I showed everything. Yep, we showed everything. So let's talk for a second. Again, thank y'all all for coming. I'm so glad to see some new faces in here. Um, but after we end here, y'all need to come over to Katie's channel. Um, vintage and vinyl. She's doing a show and tell with me. <laughs> and this is going to be so fun. I can't wait to see your camera collection. So fun. Y'all can make fun of me about talking about something I don't know nothing about. <laughs> but that's the whole point of the show and tells is I really want a collector's perspective. I want people just to show some eye candy. And then that really hopefully will spark all of you guys to do your own research and your own uh, path of discovery and enjoy maybe starting a new collection. Yeah, you can be like me and start like, I don't know, 30 different collections. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing that right after this. And I am doing a pop-up sale this Friday with um, with a, a Christina Taylor. Oh, that's so, going to be exciting. This, yeah. This yeah this, oh, my God. Let me think. Um 10 o'clock central, 11 Eastern. So it's going to be a late night sale. It's going to be a, a little moonlight selling. So, And then gonna... speaking of late night sales, after my sale, Pamela Blanchard and Sabrina Simon are having a pop-up sale tonight at 10 o'clock. So we want to stay tuned for that. That's going to be exciting. So yeah, that'd be cool. See, y'all just stay right here on our channels. You'll you got Katie next, and then you got, it's on Miss Pam's um, channel, right? Miss Pam's channel, that's right. And Sabrina's in the chat now. Simon Hi, says Sabrina. she's going to be coming, so so y'all can stay tuned for her after after our show and tell. So, I uh, thank y'all all for coming again. Subscribe, give me thumbs up, y'all. I hear it's supposed to help, <laughs> and um, I don't know how all that works. I don't know those analytics. But yeah, y'all yeah, come back and see us every Wednesday here at 6.30 Central and 7.30 Eastern. And um, and um, hit the notification button because I'm starting to do a few pop-ups with um, other people from time to time. It may be on my channel, it may be on theirs. So no definite days. So 
again, thanks for coming. We're going to go get ready for Katie's uh, show and tell because I'm picking up here and going over there in front of my cameras. So y'all come check us out. Y'all come make fun of me. <laughs> See you guys soon. Thanks so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye.